help me bake the bread, said the little red hen. Not you? Well, then I'll do it myself. Hi, today we're going to make some white Amish bread. Here's the recipe if you need it. I'll also post it down below. And I've had this recipe for a number of years. I think I got it from allrecipes.com maybe about 10 to 15 years ago. But what you need is two cups of very warm water. The sugar is going to cool the water down a little bit, so make sure it's really warm. Add two packages of yeast and your sugar. And you're going to stir this together until the sugar is dissolved. And the sugar is going to be eaten by the, the yeast and start bubbling. When you see that it's bubbling, then you know that your yeast is active. Add one and a half teaspoons of salt. Stir that together. And add a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil. We're going to need about five and a half cups of unbleached flour in this recipe. So I'm doing two cups at a time. You can start by stirring it together in the bowl and eventually when it gets thick enough you'll pull it out of the bowl and knead it on the counter for a few minutes. This is going to be a little bit sticky at first until the flour is absorbed but ultimately it will form into a very nice smooth dough. So I'm going to do this one-handed because I'm trying to hold the camera but obviously you're going to use both hands to knead your dough into a nice smooth elastic type experience. <laughs> Alright, so I pulled the dough out of the bowl on a floured surface. I'm going to use my same bowl, clean it out, put some oil in it so that I can put my dough back in, roll it around in the oil and cover it with plastic wrap. I'm going to let this rise for about an hour. After about an hour it should have doubled in size and we're going to split these up into two portions. One portion will be to freeze and the other one will be to bake today. So I'm just using this slicer, but you can really split it up however you want. If you want to weigh it, you can. But here they are in two different loaves. The first loaf I'm going to wrap in plastic wrap. I'm going to freeze this one and just put it in a container, wrap it up, and then you can thaw it out six to eight hours and let it rise and bake it like the regular recipe. Spray another loaf pan with oil and cover that with plastic wrap. Put it in a warm place to rise for about 30 to 40 minutes. When the dough has doubled in size once again, Take off the plastic wrap and set the oven for 350 degrees. You're going to bake this for 20 to 30 minutes. I like to use a clear pan so I can see if the sides are done. I swapped it with some butter to make the crust soft. But if you like a crispy crust, you can leave off the butter. Let it cool for 15 minutes it dumps easily out of the pan, and then you can slice it, add butter, jelly, or you can even toast it or make sandwiches. This bread is delicious. It's a little sweet, but not too sweet. Thanks for watching.